is that the end? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I didn't know this thing was recording. But anyway, guys, um, I'm just get myself ready to go out. But before I do that, I need to tell y'all about nostalgia. So let's begin this newscast, shall we? Live from the Lone Harden Studios. This is the latest on my newscast. I'm going to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up? I'm JR. You're chilling. All right, let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So, the topic we're going to talk about today is um, when nostalgia hits home. But, um, let me talk to you guys about when it comes to nostalgia. If you've been a kid in the 1990s, 1980s, or 2000s, you may notice that times are different um, than what is happening right now. Of course, you see most people with smartphones in their hands, even kids are in, on are gluing their eyes on their tablets. Well, um, let me tell you a story of when I was a kid. And I have um, several screenshots and memories that I experienced, experienced as a kid back in the 2000s. So um, I have these pictures right here. Um, let me pull these up right now. And wow. This phone's loading right now. Um, let me tell you why I experienced as a kid. If you were kids at one time uh, back in the 2000s, you may notice something different, such as YouTube didn't exist till 2005. Wi-Fi is barely available. The only internet you had was dial-up and all that stuff. So um, if you had a computer in your room and you were living with your parents and you know you were a kid at the time, you know. The only source of internet you had was dial up and you had to plug into a phone source and you had to wait till the internet comes on or you know people calling the internet or dial up and all that stuff just to connect you to the internet so that's just like you know the phone services back in the 70s 60s 50s 40s you name it and it's just like that so um you really couldn't get on the internet anytime you want to. You had to pay huge money, you know. Laptops barely exist back then um, until sometime around when I see them uh, be very popular around 2006 or seven, something like that. So, um, and MySpace too. Um, if you remember that, you know, you used to be on MySpace as you were a teenager or a kid, you know, you could talk to your friends, no drama, no screenshotting, no starting arguments, no getting people upset, you know, getting a lot of crowds of people, getting mad at one person because he did something or getting mad at another person because he did something. I mean, there is no such thing as that back then. MySpace is about, um sharing with friends, sharing videos, sharing music, all that stuff, you know, posting your, you, um, create your page, you decorate your page, you put music on there, your music theme or whatever, and that reminds me too, um, the Motorola, uh, Razors and stuff. You know those phones are popular back in 2006, 2007. You can listen to your music or you can record your music and use that as your ringtone, um, Flip phones are mostly popular around that time um, until uh, touchscreen phones started to take over. Um, and when touchscreen phones started to take over, you know, there is no buttons. All is all you see right here is screen. So that's what everybody has these days. That's what everybody's selling these days. So there's no set. Well, there's flip phones around still. Some people use them. Some people don't. You know, some people don't like touchscreen phones and. Uh, that's very understandable. Um, if I was that person, I wouldn't use a touchscreen even if I didn't even like it. So, whatever it's best for you, just use it and, you know, go back to your day. And also, um, video games. Uh, video gaming uh, back in the 90s and the 2000s didn't require internet. So, if you had a PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, GameCube, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, um, Xbox, you know, not the 360, not the Xbox One, no, the original Xbox that came back in 2001. But, you know, the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, you know, the GameCube didn't require internet to play games. But the Xbox 360, um, 
the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, um, man, what? Sorry, guys. The PlayStation 5, the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, all these consoles that require internet to play games, wow, times have changed. You know, people that are playing video games right now are streaming, you know, playing with other friends online, you know, people don't even come over to play video games anymore. Well, some people do, some people don't, you know, it's just like a competition where who is the best video gamer in a video game series or whatever. Um, just such as Fortnite or, you know, Halo, something like that, you know, it's just, you know, people need the internet to play video games, so, you know, like, for instance, um, you know, the consoles have USB cables, ports, cable, USB ports now, so, except the PlayStation 2 probably has the USB port, because I seen it on a picture on the internet one time, or it may be edited in, or I don't know. But you know, and another thing is about zoo books. Um, if you walk, if you are a kid back in the 2000s, you sleep on your bed. You know, you're sleeping. Then you woke up to this commercial about zoo books, or you wake up in the morning, watch cartoons, all that stuff. And that reminds me, Saturday morning cartoons. Saturday morning cartoons. Who never forgets about that? Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, all that stuff. Cartoon Network. Um. Really, Cartoon Network goes off at 11 o'clock, Adult Swim comes on, and then after Adult Swim programs are finished, you know, Cartoon Network resumes their programs in the morning, something, 7, 8, or 9, something like that, you know, play their cartoons, all that stuff. So, I know what you did right here. If you are a kid and you watch a little bit of Adult Swim, I know you're sneaky, I know you're sneaky, and you were watching Adult Swim, you sneak in without your parents knowing. Wow, that's crazy. You just have to be careful as a kid when you're doing all that stuff, such as you looking at porn on the computer, on your parents' computer, that is, that's in the family living room while your parents aren't looking. I mean, that is the time of our lives when we were very sneaky. We know what we were doing. We um, sneak in for snacks and all that stuff. Sneak out of our parents' house just to go to parties, you know. And, you know... It's just a lot, a lot of adventures that we had to do as a kid, you know. We didn't have luxury Wi-Fi internet. We didn't have the luxurious that you kids, today's kids have. So, you kids watching out there, I hope you are learning all this when I, when we were kids. I mean, I'm born in 92. I turn 30 next month. So, um, yeah. So, all you kids out there watching, um... I hope you're very grateful of what your parents are providing you. Your tablet, video game, streaming, you know, gaming consoles that, you know, require the internet so you can play your games, talk to your friends online, you know. And, you know, people don't really go out anymore. And um, back in when I was a kid, you know, I used to go outside, I used to play basketball, ride my bicycle, um, to go for a walk, you know, play a lot of sports. And, you know... There wasn't no tablets, no iPads, no nothing, you know, no touchscreen phones just to stay in, watch movies all day, watch YouTube videos, you know, it's just that. You had to stay outside, you know, play video games, not the streaming video games, but the regular video games that doesn't require the internet. You know, having friends over, staying out late at night to play with your friends and, you know, parents yelling at you, coming home, come home right now. And, you know, and then they just get on to you about certain stuff that you shouldn't be out late at night. So, yeah, that was the time of our lives in the 2000s. Um, back then, the food was so good. Wendy's, Burger King, um, Hardee's, KFC, um, a lot of stuff that was created was so good. Um, and also, the Disney Channel shows, the Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon. Who never <clears throat> forget about that, but I'm going to be talking about the reboot in the next episode, but, um, just trust me, um, when I say this, uh, people don't make cartoons like they used to anymore, so, and what that means is, you know, they're rebooting the classics such as the Rugrats, like I mentioned in one video, um, they still airing Spongebob, which still gets millions of views daily. It hasn't stopped producing since 1999. Um, 
And what else? Um, the Powerpuff Girls, you know, they didn't really do a good job about that, but they're coming back for the second and third time. One is the live action show, and one with Craig McCracken involved. So I can't wait to see these kinds of projects that is about to come up and see what it's about. Um, what else did they reboot? Um, well, I hope they didn't reboot Jim Newton, but they did brought they did uh produce two video games such as you know the Nickelodeon All Star Brawl, which I did talk about um in one video. And also the Nickelodeon Slime Racing 3. So all the characters came back, you know, with their original voices and all stuff. They may have the uh, original recordings when they did back in 2000. So, um, yeah, so all that um, nostalgia is hitting. Um, let's see. And don't forget about Candy um, and all that stuff. And that reminds me. Who will never forget that the ketchup and, oh, and the different colors and stuff, all the fun colors, um, such as purple, blue, you know, luxurious red and all that stuff. I mean, I got in the mix though, but I never tried it anyway. So, um, let me go to my photos, uh, and look at that. Um, when you download a video game on the computer or some important file, see this right here. Um, I caught a glimpse of it. Um. Yeah, I did. i glad I did that. Um, and um, back in the 2000s also, if you, you don't have uh, MP3 players, you know, you don't have iPods. Uh, or iPods did come out in the early 2000s, late 90s, something like that. So um, you can download your songs onto the iPod and just listen to it all day if you had that luxurious back then. If you had an iPod back then, you're really popular and you're really rich. So... Yeah, but other than that, if you want to listen to music, you have to buy a CD player, put in the CD, and listen to it. I mean, it's just like you can't do a million songs. You just have to pick a CD, put in this, put in the CD player, play it, and then you just you just stick with it. I mean, um, if you have very few uh CDs with you while you at school, then that's what you're stuck with um for the most of the day or all day because you can't go back home, cut school, get the other CD so you can listen to the other That doesn't work like that. Once you have these three CDs in school, you can't leave the property. You can't leave the campus. You know, you're stuck with the three uh, CDs in your backpack and you can just listen to it all day. That's it. That's all there is to it. And there are cassette players too. Um, And, you know, when your favorite song comes on, the radio and record on the cassette tape. That's what I used to do back then, back in 2005. You know, I just learned how to do that back in 2005. I haven't seen a cassette player ever since. Um, with the wire at the end, or you just plug it um, onto the CD player um, and all that stuff. Or you can plug it into your phone right there. You know, um, you can still do that. It's just like, you know, today's cars as well. Um, except with the CD player, um, the, the, the cassette player, Put in the C player or the uh, MP3 player or on your phone. Just listen to your music. Uh, that's the other way you can listen to your music on your phone anyway. So um, that's another luxury right there. Um, and then here is another one that I just talked about. Um, the flip phones right there. Um, and then there's a girl right there that said, Be quiet. My song turns it up. Recording. Wow. Okay. So that's how the magic start. So you... Play your song on the car radio. You record it on your phone, and then after you record it, you put it as your ringtone as people call you. Ah, oh, okay. So that's that explains where it came from. Wow, only '90s kids will understand. Wow, yeah, I just talked about that. The video game without the streaming, without the internet. So, um. There's a lot, there's codes that you had to put in, you know, to go to a certain mission or a level. So, um, I haven't, you know, played video games in a while, so I don't know how that goes, but, you know, I plan to play video games soon. Um, there's, uh, specific games that I want to play, um, yeah, so, um, and you never forget this. Look at that. Never forget this. You just made art, you know. It made me cringy, to be honest with you, but, you know, 
if you did as a kid, you had a grand time of your life. So, um, uh, let's see, what else do I have here? Um, okay, so, you know, that's, uh, kudos. Who remembers kudos such as pretzels, M&M's, you know, granola bars that are, that I have the chocolate at the bottom. Yeah, I mean, those are so good back then. And the, or the orange Mountain Dew. The orange Mountain Dew was so good. I mean, it's been 20 years ago since I tried it. So, um, I can still taste that orange Mountain Dew, man. Oh my God, it was so good. Dang, it was so freaking good. It was 20 years ago, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. Man, it was so good. It was so good. Some great orange soda right there. Hmm. Wow. So... And another thing too, the um, CD-ROM on the computer, you can play games on it. And you know, the people that, you know, produce this stuff make really good video games back then. It had a lot of quality. The uh, graphic, the 3D graphics may look old. It may not look that great. It may look boxy, but at least it had value in some way. And it had great music, you know. I mean, it was so good. And you know, you get to stay at your parents' house, you know. Go to school, you know, wake up, go to school, come home, watch cartoons, watch TV, eat dinner, do your homework, um, get ready for bed, rinse, rinse, lather, repeat, rinse, cycle, repeat. So, um, yeah, so that's what I want to tell you about. Um, and also, um, what I'm going to talk about in the next newscast is life as being an adult, um, and let me tell you, it wasn't easy being an adult, but you can recount all these memories that you had as a kid, you know, walking to school, you know, you don't have to worry about uh, pedophiles message you because you didn't have a phone. Um, and, you know, the telephone, and you don't even have a phone. You have to use the telephone to call your friends and all that stuff. That's like 70s and 80s stuff. So, um, and uh, yeah, so. What else do I want to talk about? Um, yeah, um, the uh, fast food restaurants, you know, and your parents yelling at you for certain stuff that you couldn't go anywhere. They ground you a lot because you're a bad kid, you know. And let me tell you, back then when I was a kid, I really hear about school shootings. I really hear about school shootings because, you know, the internet's blowing up, you know. Everything has to come from the internet. You know, robots are taking over retail stores. Um, there are barely any cashiers and all that stuff. And, you know, and, you know, it's just like self-checkouts are taking over big box stores. So, yeah, there ain't, there, it's happening right now. And, you know, back then when, you know, people are building, building quality cars such as GMC, Ford, um, Kia and all that stuff, you know. They're building good cars, you know, they put quality tires, you know, quality bodywork and all that stuff, quality steel, so the car don't get damaged too much. But today's cars, you know, if you hit it, it crushes like a soda can. So you might want to consider that if you want to buy a new car. So, um, yeah, let's see. Um, what else do I have here? I know I screenshotted uh, several pictures of... Um, uh, dad and his daughter, blown. hold on a sec, a dad, a dad and his daughter blowing bubbles and all that stuff, that's what I had right here, um, let's see, where is that, where are those pictures, because, no, um, yeah, but anyway, um, what I want to tell you about is I'm showing you several pictures of what I saw, what I, um, Encounters such as her her dad, I mean the dad and the, her his daughters are blowing bubbles, you know, having fun, not on their laptops, not on their um, tablets and all that stuff, just having fun. You still watching YouTube videos all day, video game streaming and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, well, um, uh, okay, so, well, I think that's all I wanted to talk about today. Um. Just when nostalgia hits home, and you know, where I live right now, there wasn't a lot of development back then, you know. And going to the mall, um, 
back in the 90s and the 2000s was so epic. There are a lot of stores that you can choose from. Get a bite to eat, you know, stay with your friends, you know, just don't be bored at home. I mean, life was grand back in the 2000s, man. I wish I could go back, man. Instead of people producing lame cartoons, lame reboots and all that stuff, making dangerous cars, you know, and people shooting up schools, people going crazy, you know. I had a feeling that all this wasn't coming back then. YouTube is taking over, you know, all them streaming services, you know. And let me tell you one more time. What is this? Okay, I'm going to check this later, but I need to finish these newscasts anyway. So, you know that cable is officially dead. Nobody wants to watch TV, wants to watch cable anymore except streaming services. Because that's what everybody's moving to nowadays, right? Um, So, um, you know, all the memories and the time has changed. So, you know, and, you know, all you kids watching out there, like I said... You never had the stuff that we had to uh, experience when we were kids. So, yeah. So, um, I'm going to end this newscast right there. And I hope you enjoy a time travel back when nostalgia hits home. So, um, I hope you guys stick around and tune in for another newscast. So, I'm going to sign off and I'm going to finish getting ready to go out and I hope I see you guys on the next newscast so keep it epic and until next time I'm Jerome Harden founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios I'm out peace.